Shout out to your thermal and mana. SC2 challenges and the results. Ghosts and Medivex, rank 100 Grandmaster. Two random Protoss units, rank 159 Grandmaster. Tier 1 units only. Several Rogue and Dark at a million. What the f is going on here? How is this on the front of the StarCraft subreddit at the tip of, of the, the top of the list? Like, if you're gonna bring up any players that like to play tier 1 units, I don't think you'd go Sarah Rogue Dark, but it's a bit of a post for sure. These are probably the strongest late game Zerg players ever. Actually, not probably. For sure. Interesting. Korean dude voiceover StarCraft sounds? Whoa, this is from 4th of October 2008. Starcraft에 나오는 유니트들 상담서 한번 보여드리도록 하겠습니다. 아, 먼저 테란 유닛, 테란의 레이스 종이 비행기 레이스입니다. Rate awaiting launch orders. Rate awaiting launch order. Sector Rapid going to see. I'll take formation. 예, 그리고 다음으로 SCV. Yes sir, yes sir, we could go sir. Down region, just finish. 예, 그리고 다음에는 이제 그 yes. 사이언스 베이스 한번 해보겠습니다. We have your missile, affirmative sir. 예. <웃음> This is what English sounds like, by the way, to non-native English speakers, in case you're wondering. My favorite part about this is that he's doing this for an audience of just people, right? This is not an audience of gamers. This is 2008. This is just a bunch of people that came to see, I think, a comedy show or something. Like, if you do <laughs> an audience of normies, that's not what I was going to call them, but fair enough. I, I love, I love that all these people are laughing and they are actually familiar with what he's talking about. Look at this lady. She's well familiar with StarCraft jokes. In 2008. <laughs> Very good. Occupation? I thought it was a typo and it was supposed to say gangster or something. I'm also not entirely sure about this portrait, if I'm being 100% honest. But I think, yeah, it's, okay, I see, I see. Yeah, here, look, there's the cinnamon edition tape. This is not acceptable cat behavior, by the way, for those of you wondering. Like, maybe it looks cute, but you definitely... I don't think you should be encouraging this. <laughs> this is not right, but anyways. Um. <laughs> I don't think I don't think that's what you want to do with your cat, but uh, hey, it's a cute video, I guess. I've actually done a little bit of research, guys. So this is a new thing that Twitch has recently started a little bit ago where they're offering ad incentives for the last half year or so. So basically what you have to do is set a certain number of ads that need to play on the stream every hour, and then you get paid by default, assuming you stream enough hours that month. In theory, pretty cool, but they've actually done a bit of a cheeky thing, man. So here's here's how it works, right? Here's here's what I've noticed. Oh, actually, let me let me get a paint, right? So here's here's kind of how it goes, right? So they've got like a box over here, they've got a box over here, they've got a box over here, and this one says like a hundred dollars, this one says a hundred and fifty dollars, this one says two hundred dollars, right? And this one says two minutes of ads, this one says three minutes of ads, this one says four minutes of ads, and then for like X hours of streaming every month, right? So say this is the offer you get in the first month, this, this is where you're gonna get. So say you're like, okay, I'm gonna pick the middle option. Guess what happens next month? <laughs> they will give you a similar offer, 
150, 200, 250. However, they take out the leftmost option. So now suddenly, your options are three, four, and five minutes. <laughs> and this keeps going. Wardy, Wardy tweeted about this. Let me actually find it out real quick. Apparently, this is one of the offers that Wardy got today. 10 minutes of ads an hour. 10 minutes of ads an hour on a live streaming platform. Are you kidding? That's ridiculous. Anyways, yeah, so this is apparently what Queenie got. Eight minutes of ads an hour, 103 hours for a month for 400 bucks. So this is Winter's option. <laughs> Three minutes of ads an hour, 190 hours of streaming for $269. We can do the math on that one. That is 269 divided by 190 hours. That is $1.41 for every hour that Winter streams that Twitch pays him. <clears throat> so if Winter were to pick the middle option, the one minute option is gone next month. He's never gonna see that one ever again. My ad incentive this month was actually pretty good because I've been doing this little test. So I've noticed, and this was just a little bit of uh, trial and error, I guess. But I noticed in the months that I did a lot of reruns, my ad incentive was absolutely trash. And I noticed that like whenever we talked about this with streamers internally, anyone who does a lot of reruns gets terrible ad incentives. And Winter basically does a rerun every day. Like Winter does reruns essentially 24 seven and this is his ad incentive. So in a way they're kind of like, I don't know if this is intentional, but they're kind of like pushing away reruns. So I stopped doing reruns over the last four weeks and my ad incentive that I got offered on Twitch went up like threefold. Now obviously it is for the next month and November in general is a pretty good month. But yeah, it is, it is kind of interesting. So obviously ads only ever play for non-subs. And honestly, I feel like the vast majority of viewers over here are, you know, sub to the channel, but like, that's kind of the question you got to ask yourself as a streamer, right? Like how many, like how many minutes of ads per hour is cool? So like one minute of ads an hour, sure. Two minutes of ads an hour, sure. Three minutes of, like you got to decide where you draw the line. Yeah, so my offer this month, the, for the next month that is, I also have three offers and one of them is four minutes. The next one is six minutes and then the last one is seven minutes. I don't want to do, like, that's a lot. That's a lot of ads. How many ads do you think they're going to push for, though? Like, if Twitch is offering Wardy 10 minutes of ads an hour. So mine comes down for 6 minutes of ads an hour to 11 bucks an hour. So if I play 6 minutes of ads an hour, I get roughly 11 bucks. If I play 4 minutes of ads an hour, I get seven and a half dollars an hour. So that's quite significant. Like that is obviously on top of all the other things. So that's pretty good. But is it worth, yeah, exactly. Is it worth the viewer to, I don't know, man. I, it, it's all, I'd rather just not play any ads. But you know, someone actually suggested this on Twitter and I unironically think it's a good idea. Someone suggested on Twitter that when you ban someone from the stream, rather than them not showing the stream anymore, just have them watch ads the entire time. I think that's pretty clever. Like someone's like, you know, you bend them from the stream and then just like they sit there watching ads for 15 minutes ready to get angry in the chat again. And like, oh my God, this ad is still playing. And they just keep playing ads over and over. That's good, right? That's pretty clever. Don't know if Twitch is ever going to get to that point, but that would be funny as hell. Like if you get banned from a channel, you just see ads nonstop. A redemption arc, if you say something really dumb in the chat, you get to watch 10 minutes of ads and then you come back to the channel. That would actually be cool, dude. Like, then it would actually be like a... We can gamify the ad situation for sure. I'm like, Selderick, look, you've talked about pagan death metal a little bit too much. Go sit on the bench, watch ads for 10 minutes. Right? Meerkats, you're being too horny. Go watch ads for 20 minutes. See, these are things that would be... Yeah, great idea. Sit on the ad bench. Freedom of speech now only includes ads. <laughs> Loco, Twitch told me I watched your stream two days in the last month. Oh, you got an email? I saw Gabe got an email. Gabe is a real passionate man. Despite the fact that he's always posting those. A a anyways, look at this. Streams played 22 out of 22. 
Yeah. This is the only statistic we're willing to see, okay? Wait, memory, you got 23 out of 22? That's real passion. Below five days equals no passion. You got 19 out of 22. Get out, Ace. Can't believe this guy, man. Only 19 out of 22 streams. May as well just take your VIP badge away. Oh, okay. Now, Meerkat, Meerkat's... Okay, Meerkat's... Yeah, he gets it. Six days and nine hours? Wait. Nolan has got six days and nine hours? What is this piece of we get to? Five days and 18 hours only? Memory has got six and 11? Ay, 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 ay. Yo, if either of you want to have uh, Mugetsu's sword, we'll be handing it out to the most viewed hours. You have six days and 20 hours? For real, Falcon? I can't see this. Like, I, I have no way of, of reviewing it. You've got six days and 20 hours? Oh my god. Six days and 20 hours watched. 22 out of 22 streams. I mean, for every message, though, that you sent, Gabe sent five of them. AKA Gabe is a real spam lord. I don't know if reruns count, but I haven't done a rerun. Anyways, Loco, check this one out. Oh no, what have I done? Like <laughs> I clicked, I clicked. Okay, alright, alright, fine, you got me. Ooh, we're almost at 10 million messages, guys. That's pretty cool. What is that compared to like the real uh, big streamers on, on this platform though? Who's like the biggest streamer right now on Twitch? I want to see how many messages they've got in total. Okay, biggest channel is XQC. Ay, ay, ay. They're at 673 million. That, that's, that's a little, that's a little much. My god. Oh, that's a bot. These are all bots. I could have sworn to set Mugetsu, but not quite. That, that's quite a few messages. Yeah, that's quite a few. Chat spam wise, probably Pokimane. Only 69 million. It's not even close. That is quite nice though. No, there's a lot of very large streamers on Twitch these days, man. Plus, like, XQC streams a ridiculous amount of hours. Like, he's live basically 24-7, it seems. Okay, maybe, maybe like half, half of the day. But. I posted mine to Twitter. Twitter.com slash local TV. Is that what you meant? 359 messages sent. Are you taking uh, notes too, Gabe? G Gabe, are you G Gabe? Are you paying attention? Look, this 300. That's also possible. You seeing that? I get I get emails all the time that are a little bit shaky, but this one was next level. Hi, doesn't address me or anything like that. Hi, we're launching our new P2E game. So this is basically a NFT crypto type of game, very soon, and we were wondering if you're interested in doing a promo video for us. We can pay a fee and offer some free NFTs in exchange. Looking forward to hearing from you. This is the full email. It says the, the, the person's name right below this. Notice how it doesn't mention the game. <laughs> it doesn't even mention the game. It says nothing. The game is not important. No, 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 no. I thought NFTs were already pretty much dead, but uh, I guess not, huh? Hello. One zealot, pretending to be the most badass zealot in the world. Destroy all the things. Okay, I lost one. Where'd the mama ship go? Oh, mama ship's not very good at protecting anything, huh? Is this life? Is this a rerun? Yes. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Yes to both. It's a life rerun. Who wants to get sucked by the vortex? Everybody get close together. What? Okay, fine. Oh. What just? Ah. Okay, everyone get in here. Oh, come on! Base is under attack. Thank you, Fluffy Waffle. Fluffy Waffle immediately resubs, huh? A little bit suspicious, but... Again? You have had a, haven't had a good Vortex in a long time. Alright. 
base is under attack. I should have just right clicked it. All these fancy abilities are not worth it. <laughs> uh, are we winning? I think we're winning. Battle cruiser unit pretty good. Thank you, Archival. Gifting us up to Mothership Sucks. Good name. Alright, we're clear. Grab that thing and set a course to rendezvous with Valerian. We're gonna rendezvous. We gotta be like, hey, bonjour, uh, je veux une uh, croissant. Et une uh, café. That sort of thing. I think that's what you do during a rendezvous. You just use as many sophisticated French words as you can find. Oui, et toi? Is this what it feels like to play against Battlecruiser rushes? No, Battlecruiser rushes are sick, man. I like, I like, uh, yeah. How to find out if your opponent is salty? Very nice. Just make some anti-air flyers, guys. It's the best way to do it. I Take a response. These bits cleaning out the crumbs in my keyboard. You can have them, I guess. That's beautiful, man. Appreciate it. Can you beat StarCraft II Wings of Liberty? With only SCVs, laughing, crying emoji. I haven't gotten to the point yet where I'm putting emojis in my video titles and thumbnails. Laughing, crying emoji, PNG. Let me let me give it a try, Chet. Let me uh, let me give it a try, because that is what the real YouTubers do these days. Okay, no no arrows, no red circles, none of that. Okay, so here's here's today's YouTube video thumbnail. Here it is. <laughs> <laughs> you know the worst part is it would actually work i can almost guarantee you that it would work it's so painful this is too cringe i can't i can't i can't but i'm sure it would work we're not at quite the, the end game yet guys the desperate times are not quite here yet <laughs> no 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 do it for the money, Loco? No, no, no. You gotta make them bigger and rotate them a little bit? Yeah, yeah. See, I see you guys do a lot of YouTube viewing. I do a little bit of a drop shadow behind it. Don't forget to rotate one of them slightly for maximum effect. Yeah, yeah, there it is. And then you make the actual original image way brighter. Just colors only. This one, maximum saturation on all the things. There it is, man. It looks like a viral YouTube video or a Facebook video now. That thumbnail would revive StarCraft 2. Yeah. Happiness is a U U R <laughs> underscore. <laughs> How long does it last? Weight gain, loss of financial security and income. Oh my God. Okay. Taking care of your mental health. Okay. All right. I'll keep all of this in mind, man. <laughs> Did it say receding hairline? Oh my God. Ooh. Ooh. That explains why they didn't fit in the frame. So they don't even have an anti-ground mode. They hit air and ground? Wait, what? They hit air and ground, I need a tech lab to produce them. Okay. I'm just gonna make only those units. That's the plan, we're only gonna make one unit now. Do they have repair drones following them around? Is that what I see? And they're healing up the Odin? You know those rates Swan promised you? Actually, they're not rates. Truth is, we received some, but we stripped them up to add their abilities to dropship. So yeah, you will want to make uh, do with these experimental missile frigates we got from Mobius. They don't have the anti-armor abilities of the Wraith, but they can take a punch if you send them ahead of the Odin. They also include repair drones for support. Okay. How much are they? 350 minerals? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, guys, I think it's a little early for a midlife crisis. But one day I'll probably be sitting around and I'll be like, Oh my god, the only thing I've done for the first 40 years of my life is play video games. Ah, pretty good, actually. Ah, it's not so bad. Yeah, actually, you know what? That could be worse. I kind of like making these missile frigates, guys. I want to make a whole lot of them. Yo, these things were awesome. 
Especially since I'm healing. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep using it. I might get the heroes or something, but let's get Jimmy. Thought we were just going over the symptoms of a midlife crisis. It's a dangerous uh, subject. Apparently it can start when you're 30 years old. Stormgate will make me feel young again. <laughs> Copium. You're 20 and you already have it. Well, there you go. I remember when I was 20 and the strength of my life before the back pain. Dude, these things are amazing, man. This is what uh, Protoss players uh, feel like when they're playing against frigates. Or, as they're called, liberators. The first time you went to a club was at 8 years old? They start early in Romania, don't you? Ooh, oh, these abilities are amazing. Odin shutdown is imminent? No, 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 it's fine. We were having a discussion about that yesterday in the Patreon group chat. Apparently in Romania, what was the drink called again? Oh, I'm forgetting the name of it right now. Someone found out about this Romanian alcohol that apparently historically was drink uh, was drunk right before every meal, including breakfast. It was like between 27 and 40, or no, 27 and 82 percent alcohol. It's quite the range. Tuitsa? I don't know how to pronounce it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, it's a traditional Ger or Romanian spirit. That contains between 24 and 86% alcohol by volume. I love it. It's like, ah, whatever. As long as it burns going down, that's all we really care about. It's such a range. Apparently it's made from plums in Romania as the largest plum producer in the European Union. Among the top plum producers in the world. Anyways, apparently it's not commonly drunk anymore with breakfast. I know. It makes sense, they drink it in the morning, and after that, they go and work the land for 10 to 14 hours. Damn, dude. Yeah, life was a little different back in the day, I guess, huh? Poor Jimmy over here, man. I don't know if they deal that much damage, but the animation is sick. It is really like a Valkyrie 2.0. No, their damage is sick, too. Plus, they have the repair drones? Like, <laughs> the fact that they repair one another... Oh, plus I can obviously use Mr. Swan here as well to repair the Odin if it's really desperate. I sound like Mickey? Wait, what? Ooh, oh, these abilities are amazing. <laughs> yeah, 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 no, I could, I could, yeah. I was just excited about the frigate, okay? Tigus is going. Wait, am I still gonna get another upgrade? Hold up, do I still get another upgrade? Improves the healing rate? I can't wait to dig into that. Sure, sure, I like that. I, I, I agree. What we need is more healing rate. I thought they were a little weak. Definitely need a little bit more healing rate. 100%. Oh my god. I am now a missile frigate main. Okay, he's going to take a little bit of a break over here. Jimmy is also taking a break. And fire. This is gonna get tricky. I'm detecting battle cruisers at the next base. <laughs> oh, it has splash damage. I didn't realize that part. Never mind. Doesn't matter. Oh, wait. You were supposed to take a break. He didn't take a break. Don't worry, old buddy. I'll give you some time to catch up. Oh, no. That's why we have a Viking. To take... <laughs> to take those hits. Okay, they may have overdone it with some of the units, man. <laughs> I think you're probably supposed to use this as a support unit. Kind of like, you know, High Templar, Infestors. Actually, those are very much the armies all on their own. Wait. Are you kidding me right now? That was a f Wraith backstab? It's not cool, game. Don't appreciate that much. There were suddenly 50 Wraiths. Very toxic behavior. Not, <laughs> not such a unit now, is it? You're right. This convinced me. Wraiths, best unit in the game. He's a little low on HP, though. Yeah. Okay, here we go, here we go. I 
I killed the best unit in the game. Like it wasn't even the best unit in the game. Amazing. Nukes! Quick, fly in him! Fly in there! Yes! Happy New Year! Okay. No! Woo! That was so close. Oh, I can't believe we did that on the first try. Almost too greedy. Bro, I couldn't stop flying. Like, I couldn't s fly, right? Like, that was a problem. Oh, okay. First try. Let's go. Didn't even die once. There's no purifying, by the way, guys. Normally, you can purify. I This is kind of like Dark Souls now. I, I've kind of lost the plot of the story. Mario can't be purified, huh? It was all too late. I can purify whatever this is. Maybe it's not dead yet. Yeah, maybe. Muriel, my assistant, my lover, lost to the blight. You never once laid a hand on me. You have proven firsthand that though the blight may trap us in an undying shell of impurity, it will never deprive us of who we are. Wait, is this Muriel's? And anyways, I've tried countless experiments to bring her back to me, but it's all been to no avail. Oh no! Thanks to my constant work with the blight, the immortal kings came to being. And now even the white priestess suffers as a result of my work. Now that I've divided the king, surely I will be driven from my lab. Ha! Ha ha! Ha! Ha ha! Ha! Good voice acting. Truly, I am a pitiable fool without you, Muriel. And yet, I mustn't give up now. Not until your life's work is complete. Not until we save the White Priestess. Please, Muriel, one day. Let me hear your voice again. Manipulates Blighted to blast enemies. While slow, it is deals heavy damage and can blow enemies away at a distance. Vaden, the head of the King's Mage Brigade, became unusually obsessed with the Blighted experiments after losing his beloved. He sank into depravity. All right. Ooh, and I can now unlock sealed doors. All right. Amazing. Muriel's Blighted Litter. Please don't blame yourself. I prepared for this eventuality when I set out to study the Blight. I wanted to tell you face to face, but I couldn't find the words. Please forgive me. There's so much more to do. I hope you'll continue researching in my stead. I'm sorry things ended up this way. This game's kind of sad, guys. Like, the story, believe it or not, this may come as a surprise, but it's kind of sad. My repeated experiments have produced unexpected results. I have yet to return a Blighted to its former consciousness. However, I've successfully created a new Blighted from a test subject that retains conscious, uh, or conscious thought, rather, and the ability to communicate. I have to continue monitoring their, pro uh, monitoring their progress. But by creating a blighter that retains its humanity, have I unlocked the secret to immortality? At least the king will be pleased. I suppose I could call the substance wrung from the white priestess. The deathless elixir. Though there's nothing I can do for Muriel. Any trace of humanity left in her has long since dissipated. So basically the story of this game is that someone tried coming up with a cure to this disease and accidentally <laughs> things up. Okay. Open sesame.
Silva's blight-stained note. The forbidden domain is filled with unfathomable experiments. The air is so choked with blight, I can't even breathe without a mask. I'm the only one who can protect the white priestess of the fount. I'm all she has left. If I drink the elixir, will it give me the strength needed to protect her? I'm useless as I am now, as I've been. I want to transform myself. I must, for Sigrid's sake. Oh, yikes. There's one boss down here somewhere, guys. I think, anyways. Oh, jeez. What a lovely place. This seems friendly. Friendly and inviting. Yeah, this is what I imagine the inside of my stomach looks like. Oh my god, they deal much damage. Holy crap. My stomach looks worse. Not mine, Chad. I only eat leaves and uh, plants. Never anything unhealthy. Not even once. Try listening to the music. Oh god. horrible place all right I want to see what's behind the door this is where we begin right over here now right over here at the very beginning is a door that I could not previously open oh my god my character is completely blighted out of her mind by the way she's even growing tentacles now oh Restoring the Aegis Curio. The Aegis Curio, crafted long ago by the ancients, holds the power to ease the, su or ease the suffering of the priestesses who absorbed blight while performing purifications. Its power has been weakened by repeated purifications by priestesses over many years. The power of an ancient spell can be used to restore this power and help the white priestess if you can decipher the stone tablet. I am prepared to restore the Curio. I wish I would decipher the spell myself, but alas, I have little time left. So this is where we make it. I only have one part, though. Like, I have one of the seven stone tablets. Oh, I can maybe go over this now, too. Yeah, 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 that's how we fall down. So there's probably something to loot, because this is that really large room that I tried climbing in. A couple times. <laughs> where do you think the thing is at? It's over there! I saw it! I saw the f thing! That's it right there, man. For 100%. 100% right there. I, I was close. Okay, we're gonna try and get it from here. No! F That's it right there, man. So this is the real jump right over here. But I don't have the other ability. Like, I, I don't have the the extra dash. So I don't see how I can get over there. Like, it's right over here. Right above me. But I, I, I don't see how I can get there. You don't need the extra dash? How would I not need the extra dash? You can only do a single jump. I can do a dash and one jump. There's no double jumping. So I'd have to jump first and then dash? Dash first, then jump? Yeah, but like... That's that's how far you can go. Okay, that was not very smart by me. <laughs> oh, is that the idea? You like attack the air and you get time to turn around? So that's a pretty big slowdown. I guess I can use that as well while falling down, right? Oh yeah, it also moves you up ever so slightly. That's an interesting, interesting decision. Oh my god, bro. Okay. Time to get over it. Because I was so good at that game, I decided I wanted to play it again. Well, 
I used Silva there, but Lily didn't grab onto the thing. Okay. Nope. Panic. So... I don't see how I can get high enough. Like, I'm not, I'm not making, I'm not going up. Oh god, no. <laughs> panic, panic. Okay, I think I'm gonna dash, jump, melee attack, dash again. Oh my god. That's gotta be so f***ing close. There's not even any motivational quotes in this game, dude. There's no hammer, no cauldron. Nope, nope. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> ah! F*** me, man. I know as well when, like, the stream delay catches up, because I just see tons of movement from the corner of my eye. Your failure here is a metaphor. To learn for what, please resume climbing. Rob Dubbin. Thank you, uh... Whatever the character's name was. In, uh, getting over it. I think he was a bunny. Bennett Foddy, that's it. F*** me, f*** me, f*** me. F*** me! <laughs> oh, I don't like this game. This game is ass. There's nothing even- like, it's kind of- Give me like 5 HP boost or whatever, man. But now I need to get the goddamn thing, too. I'm gonna go the other way once again. I'm gonna make the walk of shame all the way over there and then inevitably fall down again a little bit too far. We all know it's gonna happen. But maybe on the off chance, I will do something different. Oh. What would be the order of getting there? Don't get stuck with the thing that ruins your day. Smile and be happy. Life is too short to be wasted on negative thinking. Ritu Garturi. What's well that? Jump, fall, cry? It doesn't bring me any higher, though. Jump, dash, hammer, hammer? Wait, you don't think I need to dash? Like, for a second time? Okay, well. Oh! <gasps> First try, baby. First try. Uh, I found a small girl in the Deadlands. She didn't speak, but fixed her gaze upon me as she clung desperately to me. I don't quite know what came over me then. Had I gone mad, wanting to bring back a child of the ancients? Was it because she resembled us? Because he was a, a child, or perhaps a sense of obligation? Perhaps I wanted my sins to be forgiven. Okay, got some stagnant blight. And another piece of paper. Though we once thought them completely wiped out, the ancients have returned. From the farthest reaches of the land they came. Or they come, rather, reanimated by the blight. The children of the ancients were revered and worshipped in Land's End as the white priestesses. They were the only ones who could stave off the blight. And though I knew well, or I know well, or full well, the toll that purification places on their bodies, I could find no way to forestall their ultimate sacrifice. Another sin to add to the pile. Atonement now seems but a bitter joke. Guys, I got over it. Look at me now, Ma. I got a piece of paper that I didn't have before. I think it's the motivational quotes from Bunny Warren and Amok of Us that uh, really got me through this all. It's over here, isn't it? It's over here, isn't it? It's over here, isn't it? It's over here, isn't- I've already been here. No, I haven't. Yo! Accidentally good! The room turned orange. Every time I see the color orange now, dopamine, right away. Dopamine hit as soon as I see orange. Remember when we used to struggle in this room? Me meter. We're just cruising through everything now. Like, sex is nice and all, but have you ever had a, a, a room turn orange? That's what I'm saying. Look, oh, I have not. Thanks for helping it in. Well, you should pick up the game. So you can make the rooms turn orange. I mean, I don't know, man. I just say words. 
So hopefully people will think I sound cool. I obviously have no idea what that's like. So I can I can open like okay. <laughs> words. Like all of those words made sense, but not in that order. Loco, 2022. Dear diary, today I died. I was killed by this thing in some expansion. I leave all that I own to my cat. Goodbye, cruel world. Alright. How how do you what are the how does this is there a name for this particular ship? If not, the class should suffice. Thank you. Guys, I am disappointed with the people that are asking questions sometimes on StarCraft. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you've played any StarCraft 2 at any point, you'll probably know the name, right? It's the Hyperion. Oh, thank God. Cattle Bruiser? No. Muras are so big, it's crazy. No, they're not this big. They're, this is not in scale. They're supposed to be like a thousand people on the... Uh, uh, okay, okay, fine, fine. No. God, please remove the trash players from StarCraft. <laughs> okay, alright, fine. Okay, fine. I've gone to the dark side. <laughs> what is going on? Look at this game. Look at look at this game. Look at look at the minimap. What what is going on? This guy is at It's okay. It's okay. Dude, honestly, some like the people that have the most fun in StarCraft 2 are usually also ranked on the lower end of the ladder. I'm fairly sure that like the higher you climb, the less fun the game actually becomes. Like the game itself may still be enjoyable, but the fun part is no longer really there. <laughs> There's one ghost. <laughs> Why is there one ghost? There's... <laughs> Alright, nice. Look, I'm Surfler and I have a blast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Playing the game for fun is where, where they get you, man. Oh, it deals splash damage. Holy <laughs> Normally it doesn't deal splash damage. Thank you, four marines. Which one's Jimmy? Oh. That explains why it didn't show up at the bottom of the screen. <laughs> I was wondering where Jimmy went. Jimmy, no! Jimmy, stop that! Jimmy, stop messing around, Jim! Oh my god. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do is get Marauders. I think Marauders are probably good. What's up? You can count on me. Talk to me. What's the plan? I'm glad that I can count on you, Jimmy. That means a lot. Oh my god. Not the healer, please. Nope. Stop it. Get him, Jimmy. We ring around a rosy. <laughs> go, 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 go! Keep running. No, Jimmy, Jimmy got this. Jimmy got this. Jimmy got this. Easy. No. Who? Who? Okay, easy may not be entirely accurate, but you know, I'm not sure if that was good. Okay. Sir, you're right on top of oh, shit. I still have to... Fusion reactor must be nearby. I forgot that there's a lot of enemies in that room. You rang. Been waiting on Sell me. She sounds so excited when she says, You rang? No, Brenda. I did not ring. <laughs> Don't mind me just walking my ultralist. Ah, uh, there it is. Talk to me. What's the plan? What's up? Sell me. Break it down. What's up? Talk to me. Firebats actually good, man. Break it down. Like firebats are pretty much terrible on every RTS What's game up? ever. What's up? Like every game that has some sort of flamethrower. Right they're always trash. But in this mod, they've made them so good that they're like I actually think they're a little overchewed. They're good. Yeah, they're actually useful. I think they're actually a little too good. Well, there's like these these are these are beefed up out of their minds, man. Is there still um I still need to gather a little bit more, don't I? There's still weapons and artifacts. Oh, I guess in the final final section in the escape part of this mission. Oh my god, that's gonna be super hard. Whew, okay. It seemed to just disappear. disappear. I lost a couple units. But not really that many. Oh, I missed one thing over there. Whoa. Can I still get it? 
These are cute ultras. Ooh woo. I don't know if you can say ooh woo. I don't know if that's allowed. I remember back in the day when the Runok in the chat used ooh woo. This was like 2012. One of the original weebs. The OWs. Yeah, nobody, nobody knew. Nobody knew what it meant at the time. You're more of an Owo kind of guy? All right. Ah! Jeez, dude. I was promised cute ultras. How is that cute? There was nothing cute about that thing. Yeah, what the hell, man? Okay, here's the cute ultras. Wait, I missed a weapon somewhere. Hello? Guys, the f door's not open. Okay, now it is. Wait, I missed something somewhere. I did not actually get the full reward for this mission. I thought I picked up everything. Where did I miss something? Did you guys notice that I missed something somewhere? No one in the chat is calling me out for missing something, so I feel like I didn't. Twitch chat never lies, right? Have you guys ever lied? Maybe I did miss something somewhere. I, I think I missed one consumable somewhere. Hello? How long does this... Ah, there you go. How long does it take to blow up? No, I didn't miss anything over here. <laughs> 12 out of 13. That was one in the last section? I'm actually gonna load. Wait, the last one was near the end? You just walked by it? Oh, it was right at the very end end. I walked straight past it. What a loser. You imagine walking straight by the thing you're looking for. Normally, I, I'm like a hawk. I see everything on the screen. Never miss the smallest item. Haters will say that's fake. Was it that one? Guys, I had that one. Wait, you're, everyone's calling me blind? You thought I didn't have that one? The one you lost, Jim Loco, you had it then? Wait, I'm confused. No, I don't have it. It says it in the top left. Collect weapons and artifacts. I'm missing one. The thing is not colored in. It would be colored in if I had it all. I have it? Wait, you think I have it if I... How would I have it right now? It didn't color in. Okay, I got 13 out of 13. I don't know if I got trolled by the chat or the game or both at the same time. I can't believe I doubted Twitch yet there for a moment. Yeah, 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 that's true. Embarrassing. I should never doubt Twitch yet. Uh, one little video I wanted to share with you guys that I've watched like five times today because I thought it was hilarious. Apparently they held a CSGO event in Australia. So for those of you watching with kids or whatever, there's a whole lot of swearing in this video. I mean, I just said it's in Australia, right? So, I don't know why you're surprised. But this, oh my god, it cracked me up. So apparently they had a Counter-Strike event <laughs> in Australia. To Love you, chat. Just kidding. F*** you. I think it's halfway through the round. Every night before bed, they're not wrong. That's a new one. Thing which is here, welcome. It's so good. I still want. They're not going to settle down until I give them a major. I guess I can't. For some reason, the Australians always find creative ways to get swear words into regular conversation. I gotta say, man, it reminds me a lot of conventional sports, right? But, uh, yeah, f*** you, Overwatch, f*** you, it's pretty hilarious, f*** you, Twitch, jet, f*** you. 
That's funny. I like that. Yeah, the Aussies, the Aussies definitely know uh, how to swear. They, they've got a lot of practice. I guess it's just general conversation, right? But anyways, they're really good at it for sure. I can get close enough. I can telepathically dominate the crew. Oh, dude, telepathically dominate. Whoa. Didn't know Ravens had that balloon. It's got cloak. Ha! Ah. Oh! I rapid fired it. Uh, that was unnecessary. I didn't realize I could cast multiples in one go. I thought I could only do like one at a time. I thought it had an individual cooldown, but apparently not. It's not funny, guys. Don't know why you're laughing. There's nothing funny about that. I just used my snipe on the medic. Oh, by the way, I gotta show you guys. Speaking of Zelda, I thought this was hilarious. Speaking of Zelda. Thank you, uh, by the way, Pilgrim. Welcome. Appreciate you. Ah, here we go. This was on Facebook. Francis says, I know she's from a game. I don't play video games, and I have no issue about representation, but making Zelda a girl is a bit much. They're overreaching. <laughs> Thought it was pretty funny. Anyway, thank you, for, thank you very much, Pilgrim. I would like to think it's a troll. I found another gem actually this morning. Let me just, <laughs> let me just, let me just show you. I think the guy was serious, but I actually believe that this was just someone actually like. I'd like to think that this is a joke, okay? Just trying to create bait. But apparently, this is actually a list someone made. Most significant people in human history, second draft. This guy made a top 14 list of most significant people. Jesus, George Washington, Julius Caesar, Alexander the Great, Albert Einstein, Abraham Lincoln, William Shakespeare, Martin Luther King Jr., Darwin, Aristotle, Steve Jobs, Michael Jordan, Napoleon and Da Vinci. Uh, there's a lot of questions here, but I like that Mr. Jordan made the list. Okay. Like, sure, there, you know, Genghis Khan may have, you know, done a, a bunch of things, right? But did he ever win basketball tournaments? <laughs> I also think it's kind of funny that Martin Luther King Jr. made it on the list, but not the OG Martin Luther. Anyways, the whole list is just a complete meme, but I'd like to think that it's just complete bait and that someone made that just to try and get as much traction as possible. But I'm fairly sure, looking at some of the things, that he was actually serious. That's so funny to me. That someone thinks that that's the list. Uh, it's a very American list, though. I mean, Jesus in first is probably not too too weird, but... Elon Musk didn't make the list either. Not a single woman on the list either, by the way, which is also... Uh, Gandhi? Gandhi is another one that's probably quite important. You know, there are also important people that definitely shaped history. You know, not good. They're not in a good way, but they certainly are influential. Yeah, Michael Jordan made the list, but Muhammad Ali didn't yet. Yeah, did not. That's... <laughs> it's so funny, but he like 14 names. That's what we get. That's so good. Yeah, how many points did Newton score in the NBA chat? What he, <laughs> he came up with calculus? Nobody likes calculus. Was it calculus he came up with? I don't know, math. Uh, but I like that there's a second draft as well. So like the original raft draft was even dumber. <laughs> I like to see the first draft. All the Roman emperors? No, it's just Caesar, man. Caesar is the only guy. That's probably the only name he knew, so he's like, ah, that's the one. So good. Caesar, yeah, Caesar's the one that made the salad. <laughs> I can't believe Tiger Woods wasn't on the list. <laughs> I think making a list like that is very dangerous, but to call it second draft as well, it's kind of, kind of funny that he, like, he considered it, like, over multiple days. And that's the best we could come up with. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. <sighs> hey, buddy. Are you also stranded here? He's like, no, I don't want to be held. I just want to, you know. Hey, buddy. <laughs> oh. oh, looking handsome. Looking real good. I'm actually going to move him because he's going to walk over my desk. Whoa. Goodness. He turned around. <laughs> So you guys can't see. Let me take a picture real quick.
Here's what Toby did to my monitor. <coughs> I think I can tilt it back. Yeah, it should be good. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Things are looking fine. He also tilted this one somehow. Interesting. Loco, you will be amazed by this, by this fascinating American dish. Dishwasher salmon, an American dish made with the heat from a dishwasher, particularly from its drying phase. Uh, I need, like every minute we, we stray further from God, we, I, I, I'll, I'll need a moment. Why did you make a... Why did you make an American flag in the background? What's going on? First we found out about the American dish of dishwasher salmon, and now you come out with this. I'm not quite over this yet, okay? You can't show me an American flag today. Like, it's just an American dish made with the heat from a dishwasher, particularly from its drying face. No, bro. No, 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 no. This is too much. I can't handle any more. Uh, maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. Why do you still have that open, Loco? I don't know. Look, I'm just as disappointed as you. What are you guys even talking about? I look away for half a minute, and I see someone talking about Alarex stepping on you. Guys, it's Monday. First few minutes of the Monday on Twitch. Already thirsty. Already thirsty. That took minutes. I mean, I'm, I'm not saying I'm surprised. Just disappointed. I still cannot fathom that the White Priestess was some sort of experiment. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that. <laughs> Milo was biting. <laughs> Milo turned the speaker volume up and it started going like since the volume of the speaker would go back through the microphone. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, he's a DJ. It started uh it started looping. Are you okay, buddy? Oh my god, he's horrified. Here. I have a treat somewhere, mate. Yeah, he scared himself. He's horrified. Don't worry, I can make him forget. Ooh, these are small ones, dude. That's like one big one broken into four pieces. Sorry guys for that, uh, that noise. Cat problem. Bribe, acknowledge. No, he made, I think he just moved and he accidentally turned the dial. He didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to give you guys a jump scare either, but. That's how Loco solves all of his problems. I do spoil my cats quite a bit, yeah. The thing about cats though, is that like, if you spoil your kid too much, right? At some point, they're gonna have to go out into society and be a functioning adult, right? Preferably. But with cats, you know. <laughs> my master volume, oh God. Oh shit. Okay, I think when Milo jumped away, he also turned my microphone volume. Test, test, test. One, two, one, two. Is that better? Yeah, should be good. Sorry about that. There's the Leviathan thing. I don't really have a lot of anti-air right now, which I don't really like. Oh, what? That was not mes necessary. Oh, God, what? Who? Oh, it's Uber Brenda. What's going on, Brenda? That's not what I expected. I thought it was 69%. Yeah. <laughs> 69% is when the Leviathan spawns. 66% is apparently when Brenda comes to play. Sir. 